Hey guys, it's your girl London and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I wanted to drop a sewing video for the new year. Seeing that I haven't sewed for you guys in so long. I wanted to sew this beautiful dress because it's easy to make and it's also suitable for any occasion, y'all. I'm sewing this dress from scrap fabric that I had inside of my shed. I really love the colors. This fabric right here is a design two-way stretch sequence fabric. And for the bottom of the dress, I'm using this beautiful metallic lightweight lycra. So we are gonna start off by folding this in half so that we have two pieces, as you can see. And I'm not using any of my measurements. I'm gonna go ahead and freehand this using a regular skirt pattern. I know you guys should have skirts at home. So I'm gonna show you how to do it using a regular skirt pattern that you may have from Forever 21 or something like that. You wanna make sure that you have your right sides together and you wanna also make sure that the fabric is straight. So no, no type of wrinkles or bunched up fabric together. Make sure it is laid out completely straight. Next, you wanna take, like I said, a skirt that you previously have. It could be from wherever, Walmart, Goodwill, it doesn't really matter where the skirt is from. And this is gonna give you a basic shape so that you don't have to really, you know, take all your measurements and stuff like this. This is something that you, that you can sew really quick. And this skirt is a size small. Now, I know a lot of people make mistakes but on sewing because they don't make sure that their fabric is on the correct side of stretching. If you have a four-way stretch fabric, it doesn't matter because it's gonna stretch on any side. But when you're working with a two-way stretch, it's only gonna stretch on one side. And as you can see, this does not stretch on this side. But if you turn it over, it is very stretchy on the other side. Mm -hmm. So you wanna remember that. Always test stretch your fabric, guys. Don't just sew it. I have so many pieces that I just sewed thinking, yeah, I just know it's on this part, and it wasn't. <laughs> so don't do that. And like I said, this is the stretchier side. If you don't have any stretch in there, you're not gonna be able to wiggle or do anything. So make sure you're sewing on the right side. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take the measurements of the length. And this is how long you want your dress to be or your skirt part, because remember, it will be a dress, but we are building the bottom piece first, and we're gonna do a nice, simple cow neck for the top piece. And for me, I'm gonna measure from my navel to my kneecaps. And when I do that, I'm gonna come up with 22. So I'm gonna take my measuring tape, as you can see, place my measuring tape on the fabric. I'm not gonna sew past 23, because I do wanna leave an extra inch for me to hem my skirt. I have from one to 23 to work with as far as the length of this skirt. So I'm gonna place the skirt at the 22 mark, 22 inches, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my waist. Just like the skirt is, I'm gonna cut it out onto the fabric. Like I said, it's so much easier to use a skirt that fits you really well if you're making this for yourself because you can make whatever adjustments you need to make and then you can draft yourself a pattern using that. So I have patterns inside of my shed, but I like to do it this way <laughs> for myself. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the side of the fabric right here because we did have it on the fold. So you wanna just split those sides open. Now I'm gonna take some pins and you just wanna pin your fabric down so that it doesn't move. I am not done cutting my fabric out, y'all, because I want it to be, like I said, I want it to be very shaped to my body. So I am not done with the waist. I want to look snatched, all right? That's the whole point. I want to be snatched with this fabric. This is a nice dress. I really wish I had some silver shoes that I could put this on with. I do have clear shoes, or I may just go buy some from Aldo. But it is very important that you guys use your needles. Pin this down because you don't want the fabric to be moving. That's the worst because if you cut it and it starts moving, it's not going to be lined up right. And we don't need no skirt that's like off. And I'm not pinning so close to the edges because like I said, I am going back in to alter that. 
Y'all, I really miss making my sewing videos. Like, for real. I gotta get back on there. Like, I gotta get y'all some new videos because I've been doing some new stuff. Like, I know y'all like rumpers and all of that stuff, jumpers. Okay, so look, this is the fabric right here. We got two pieces, that was the front. Now this is the back. And I'm going to measure and make sure everything is accurate. You will need your measuring tape to measure your hips. Make sure your waist measurements are correct. And because this is at our navel, that is where we're going to measure ourselves. You take your hand and you put your hand on your hip, right here above your navel. That little indention right there, where you're able to bend, you're gonna measure right there, right above your navel. That's about an inch above your navel. That's where you wanna measure. And I have a 24 waist, so I'm gonna make sure that this equals up to 24. You wanna give yourself at least an inch because it is stretch material. So if you're a 24 or a 25, you wanna go in an inch. So instead of doing 25, you'll do 24 because like I said, it's very stretchy material and it's not thick. So it's not like it's, you know, it's gonna be super tight or anything like that. It's gonna fit you to where it's comfortable. As you can see, this is like perfect to my waist. I don't have to cut anything. And that's why I use the skirt because it fits me really well. Now, what I am gonna do is just trim the sides of this because there's some excess fabric. And I know my machine will take it off, but I want to take it off myself. Now, another thing you can do to make sure that everything is even, this is another step that you can do, is you fold your fabric again in half. Now you see this bottom piece right here, I want to make sure everything is even. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tidy this part up. And like I said, you don't have to do that. It'll do it at your sewing machine. If you have a surgery, it'll take it off immediately. But if you're using a sewing machine, I recommend you just cutting it off because it's not gonna cut off that part for you. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we have this piece, it's ready to be sewn down. The next thing I'm gonna do is work on my top. Now this is the piece. You can see it's not really big, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be. It's just a small little piece of fabric. And like I said, it is stretchy on one side, which you can see the stretch going this way. It is not stretchy this way. Only to this side it's stretchy. So what I'm gonna do is take this fabric and drape it like this because that's how I want it to fall, like a cow neck. And for this, y'all, y'all want to make sure that you're wearing some type of glasses, some type of shades, some something, because if you cut one of these sequins the wrong way, it will pop you in the face. So I've learned that already, so don't do it. So I'm just cutting off these little extra pieces that don't really matter to make the fabric kind of even look looking. So essentially what's gonna happen is we're gonna sew our skirt down and then we're gonna gather this top. So I'm not, cu I'm not cutting this mesh piece off because we're gonna gather that together and put it inside of our skirt to make our shirt form. Now this is gonna be a backless top only thing we're gonna have is straps in the front that go around your neck, so it won't be full of straps. So it'll be something like this. Actually, y'all know what y'all can think of when y'all think of this dress because now I just pinpointed it. If you watch Love and Basketball and you've seen Gabrielle Union in that silk dress for prom, this is the same type of material. Literally the same type of material. It just came on my head. Boom, that'll put you in the mind frame of what this material looks like. So yeah. That was a, that was like one of my top movies, just so y'all know. I love that movie. But that's how we're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna sew that bottom together just like that and then it should look 
trying to give y'all an idea of what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like how her dress was, except it's not gonna be all metallic. We're gonna put some shine in there. We're gonna add some glitter. We wanna be fancy. Like, come on now. We wanna be real cute. And I'm just cutting off some of these little strings that they use to sew down the beading. I'm not cutting it all the way off. I'm just cutting off the noticeable pieces that are standing out. So let's go ahead and sew this down, y'all. Okay, guys, so I have my two pieces of fabric for my skirt, my front and my back, and I'm gonna run it through my baby lock. This is a Lauren's baby lock serger. And the settings that I have it on is three. I have the back stitch over here on normal so that it's able to flow with the fabric. So I didn't put it on stretchy. I don't really usually move any of that stuff. So let's get started. And like I told you guys, the sergers automatically cut off any excess or extra pieces of your fabric that's not even. I don't pull my fabric or anything like that. I just literally let it go with the flow. All I'm doing is holding it and it's gonna go through the machine by itself. I'm gonna go over to the next side and do it. It's up to you, you can cut this off if you want to. I normally just leave it until I'm done. Make sure your sides are even. That's why you have the pins there in place. I'm gonna take my scissors and cut the thread. You wanna also remove the pins and try on the skirt. And make sure it fits you good. So just in case you have to make any adjustments, you can. This is the time. <laughs> This is the time you can make any adjustments before it becomes a complete look, y'all. So make sure you try on your garment. So the skirt fits me really, really good, y'all. I'm just looking very much snatched. Just That's just what I wanted. So now that I have the skirt sewn together, so what I went ahead and did was took that piece of fabric, the extra piece of fabric. I didn't cut anything. All I did was gather the fabric, as you can see. And I only did what I did, um, one, two, three, four, four gathers on this so that it can have a tuck look in the front. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to sew this in using my serger. And I also have a long piece of elastic. And what I'm gonna do is just measure my waist again because I'm gonna put this inside of my skirt. And once this is in, then I can just do a straight hem on top and I'll be done. You're gonna measure it around your waist, an inch above your navel, and that's how you're gonna get that measurement for your elastic. And I have a black piece of a, of a black piece of elastic. I thought I had white, but it doesn't really matter. You're not gonna see it. So I have my elastic right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and sew that down. And remember, we're gonna sew this, but we're also gonna fold this in one inch and we're gonna do a hem on top. That's what's gonna complete and make this look look very much clean and professional. I didn't go to school for sewing. I am self-taught. I just really love making stuff, so that's why I sew. So I don't go, I didn't go to school or anything like that, but all of my pieces do be hidden. Period. All right. <laughs> so we are gonna start from the back side. And with this, you can pull it as you go if you want. It's really just up to you. I'm not sewing my top down yet. That's why my pins are on the outside a little, maybe an inch down. I'm sewing my elastic in first. Then I'm gonna go back and then I'll sew on top of my elastic. Like I said, I'm gonna pull my elastic just a little bit. And I'm not straining it. I'm not pulling it so tight that it's like ruching up. I'm not doing that. I have a really nice, stitch for my elastic. Nothing is like gathered or anything like that. That's what you don't want to do. As you can see, we are at the end and this is all the elastic I have left. I am going to just hold it here so that it could overlap on top of the first piece of 
elastic we sew down. And there you have it. The elastic is sewn in just like that. Like I said, sometimes if you pull the elastic too hard, it'll like scrunch up and everything and you can see the fabric pulling. We did not want to do that. Now I have the shirt portion. I'm gonna go in and now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the shirt onto the elastic. So we're gonna go ahead and sew our top on. Like I said, I have pins in here, you know, so that it can allow, so it can direct me in what, to where to sew. It's really what pins are for. And I definitely say utilize your pins as much as you can. So we are not sewing, we're not taking off any fabric. So we don't need to use our blade at all over here. And what you want to do is just fold over that first stitch that we're gonna do. Because once we hem it, we won't have to go back down and do that piece. Okay guys, so we have our top sewn onto our bottom. So this is what we have so far. This is the dress. Ideally, what's gonna happen is this is going to drape in the front. So this is the top of our dress right here. And it's gonna ultimately drape like that in the front. We're gonna add our straps and we're gonna hem this and be done. So to hem this, we are using a different sewing machine. We are using the Singer Heavy Duty, and this is like my favorite sewing machine right here, y'all. Now, first thing you wanna do is make sure you have thread that match your fabric. And I am using some silver thread that I got from Joann's. So this is about to be the time when your girl throw on some glasses, because like I said, the sequins be popping and it ain't finna pop me, okay? So boom, got on my glasses. Now, I'm gonna go through and stitch all of this over again. Cause remember we just laid it down with a serger. So we're gonna fold it over an inch and we're gonna stitch that. That's gonna be our pin. And you can use a zigzag stitch for this because you wanna make sure it goes with the flow of the fabric. So don't use a straight stitch because we don't want it to pop. Make sure you back stitch throughout the entire process of sewing this down too y'all so that your stitches don't come loose. We're making our way to the back of the skirt. And we're still gonna go ahead and use that same zigzag stitch, folding over. Hit you with a little back stitch. We are done. So now what we are going to do is hem the top. We left this piece right here for a reason. So it would be easier for us to hem the top of this. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And this is why it's so important to have on some type of goggles or something because this is when the stitches start hitting that sequence. And you don't want it to hit you. That's all I just, that's all I'm saying. You don't want it to hit you. Let's go ahead and hem the bottom of this so that we only have to add the straps. And to hem the bottom, I'm just folding it over. I am gonna be using the same, same zigzag stitch that I used for the top. Okay guys, so I just cut out two straps. And I am going to take this to my serger or you can take it to your sewing machine, it's up to you. Fold those straps right sides together. What you wanna do is just do a straight stitch all the way down. And once you're done, we're gonna flip it inside out and that's how we are going to hand stitch our straps onto our dress. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so I am back and I have two nicely sewn straps. And this is gonna be 
going around my neck like I explained to you guys before, but this is how they look when you make your own. So, I mean, you don't really have to go out and buy it if you don't want to, but I mean, it's kind of cheap. So, I mean, if you want to buy it, you could buy it. I just don't have a Joann's right by my house like I did before. Joann's is about 45 minutes away. <laughs> so I made my own little straps that I'm gonna go ahead and hand sew onto my dress, all right? So I have my mannequin here and we are gonna go ahead and get started. I have my first strap and I am going to pin it onto the cow neck. And what you're gonna do is just fold that over. I just, all I did was pin it. And now I'm gonna do the next strap. Here is the opening that we never sewed down. We kept it open. And I did that so I could easily slide this strap in there. Now I'm going to just pin it into place. So now we have two straps. They're not sewn down or anything. They are just pinned on. So this is how we're looking right now with the straps. Okay, so I am gonna take some needle and thread. So I have my needle and I have my thread and I'm just gonna go ahead and thread it. This is, like I told you guys before, a gray light thread so it blends in very well with the skirt in the top really both and because we already sewed down majority of the straps we don't have to do nothing but like put a little stitch right here maybe about an inch i'm gonna go ahead and start sewing i'm gonna start sewing from the back so that there's no thread showing in the front. Let me not forget y'all because a few of these did pop off and I ain't trying to get nothing in my eye today, all right? So I'll put on my little equipment, y'all. And when I hand sew, I like to keep that back piece open because I like to go back through it again just to secure it. And when you're sewing with sequins, it can definitely get stuck. So make sure you are looking out for that. Normally I like to hand stitch stuff sitting down, but that's okay. And I'm just going in and out. Can y'all imagine if we had to hand sew everything? I bet there would not be a lot of designers. I'm taking out that little pin that I had in there because I'm almost done sewing this down. Still have a little bit left. What we're gonna do is tie that piece back in the back to make sure it is secured. Okay guys, so this is the final look at this simple cow neck dress. We used a basic skirt pattern to achieve this look and some extra fabric. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see the back. I decided to use straps for the back because I felt like you can adjust the cleavage better with straps. And I just did a little knot at the ends. You can sew that if you want to, um, but I like it with the little knots on the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like always, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Until next time, treasure your family, treasure your time, and most importantly, treasure yourself. Peace.